Hi, today I'd like to show you how to play Tush by ZZ Top on your three string cigar box guitar. I'm tuned to G, G on the low string, D in the middle, G on the high string. This is a fretless guitar, so I'm going to be just playing it with a slide. If you have frets, then of course you can use a slide or your fingers. I'll play it for you first and then I'll show you what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so I'm just using a thumb pick today, but you can use a pick or you can use your fingers. For the first lick, you hit the low string twice. Then you go up to the fifth fret on the middle and the high string, and you hit that once. Then you go back, hit the low string once. Then you go back to the two fives, the middle and the high string, and you hit that. And then you go down to three. That's kind of half of the main lick. I'll play that for you slow. One more time slow. Then the rest of the lick is a low string again, just once this time though. And then 5-5 five, five once, on middle and high string, low string once again, and 5-5 five, five again, and then down to 3. And that's what happens when you put it all together. So the first time you start it, it's twice. Next time it's once. It changes the accent from being on the low string to being on the fives, and that's the whole idea of the song. Great, now it goes up to the four chord, which in this case is on the fifth fret, and it's a C chord. And I like to slide into that. And it's written as three to five, but it isn't like specifically. It's actually called a slide from affinity, where you just sort of grab anywhere down here, depending on how quick a player you are. And then you play the lick. The secret to the lick, I'll play it real slow. If you could play it perfectly, it would be like slide into the two fives middle and slow string and then you hit the five on the low string then the seven then the five again and the eight on the middle string five again on the low string and then the seven on the middle string as you can see you can only go so fast that speed so what you do is you don't worry about getting right to the five except for when you start the lick and you let your palm mute the low string. And what happens is when you play it slow, probably sounds a little lame, I'll do it slow for you. You know, because it's muted. But when you speed it up, and I'm helping it out a bit there because I'm using my first finger on the middle string, but you can use the pick too. So it looks like I'm getting that note, but I'm not actually. I'm just getting close and it's muted. So you can't really tell that I'm not pitch perfect. Back to the first lick. And then we go up to the five chord, which is found on the fifth fret. And in this case, it's a D chord. Once again, we slide into this one and it's written five to seven. But anywhere around here, once again, it's called Slide from Infinity. Then you're doing that same lick you just did before with the muting. And then you go down and do it on the fifth fret. And then you go down and do it on the open 
no slide into the open. And now I like to hit this. And then 8-7. And that's called a turnaround when you do that. You could do all three strings if you want. Um, he's doing a bent seventh chord on his guitar. We can't do that, so this is an approximation. But it kind of works. Now, don't be intimidated by that. Once you have that, once you get it once in one spot, you can do it anywhere. It just looks much harder than it really is. It's not that hard. Because remember, you're fudging it. So as long as you get these notes on the middle string correct, the rest can just sort of fake. And this kind of rhythm is done so much in blues songs and rock and roll songs, especially early rock and roll and Chuck Berry, that it's really, really good to be able to fake it if you're playing slide. If you can't fake it, you can just go to the four chord and just do a rhythm. Or you can do a bass climb. That's definitely not what they do, but it works. But give that a try. Because once you can do that, then you can use it in so many places. Anyway, have a great day. Bye.